Hey, Miss Diamond Dog. <laughs> I'm Ash Michelle with Two Loud Magazine. You look beautiful. You too. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I see you making it uh, through this crazy pandemic. What have you been like cuddling up and watching? Basically, just been in the studio. That's all. Studio <laughs> and into my studies. Yes. What What did they tell y'all to do? They said stay quarantined, and you out there they in the studio. Everybody in the house. They don't even want you out looking out the window. They want you in. Right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're doing okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, hello? oh, what's wrong? Oh, okay. So go ahead and tell us about yourself. Like okay. how you started, where you're from, all that good, great stuff. Okay. Well, I'm from Miami, born and raised. And I've been rapping for a while. For Since school, you know, I've been, I started off writing um poems and then i started off writing lyrics and then it just went on from there and um i actually been hustling around doing the open mics trying to find somebody to manage me trying to find somebody to look into my talent and so i ended up running into this guy from dark boy you know he was interested into my talent and he was like i would like to work with you so i was like okay he was like let me see some of your stuff and i had a few things out there on soundcloud i had a few things um that's on youtube but i've mm -hmm. always been like consistent with it like trying okay. to do new music trying to work with people so he actually gave me a chance and we've been working together ever since so now we got this hit with Dwayne wade which is called d wade the song which is the well before we get into that let's find okay. out a little bit more about yourself so i know that like miami is like kind of cutthroat it's hard to get into the industry so <laughs> I've heard, I've heard. So how, how do you think um, your progress has been in getting into that Miami uh, scene? I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, a lot of people respect me because of my consistency. When you tell okay. me no, it's yeah. I don't give up. I don't back down and I keep it moving. It's very hard, but I've always put in my head that I'm going to do this regardless. I don't care. Somebody going to tell me, yes, somebody going to look at me. I know I look good. I know what I'm worth. I know my mm -hmm. talent. So I'm going to keep on walking up this road until I tell somebody grab me. Okay. Okay. I feel so, it. You so get a lot of that out here. No's and they can't help you and call them back and they never answer. You're going to get a lot of that. I believe that. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. So where did the name Diamond Dog come from? Well, my middle name is Diamond, and okay. you know everybody always said I look like a doll, even when I was a baby. So that's how the name. Yes, you do, child. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that's how that came about, and I okay. always stuck with me. I'm a little diva. I'm into the moolah <laughs> makeup. So. Right. Well, that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that new single, D Way. How did you okay. feel when? Dwayne Wade like gave the head nod and said, okay, I'm rocking with this. I fuck sweat it. That was the green light. <laughs> that was the green light. Too bad I can't bring him back. But the song encouraged me when he retired. Like I was mm -hmm. in shock. This police, mm -hmm. like, no, my favorite athlete. So who's going to take his place? Like, who's right. going to do what he does? Who's going to make the landmark for Miami? Like, you know, so that's what really encouraged me. And I just wrote the song, and I was like, I wonder if I could bring him back. I wonder if I could get him on here now since he's an R&B artist, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. He's rapping now, so he's ready. I'm ready, and let's see what happens. And then but you took it I, to – oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I um, the respect just came from all that he did for our city. Mm -hmm. So that's where a lot of respect came from because, you know – it was really hard for us to get to the championship and we couldn't have did it without him, you know? So no that's one cool. Gave, yeah, no one really gave him no acknowledgement of that. Right. And then here you come paying homage and then you got the queen of Miami that popped right. out on the scene and hit, you know, got on the record. How did you even do, because I'm sure everyone is like hitting Trina up, get on my record, make it high, do something. How did you get Trina to get on this record? Well, to be honest with you, 
you know, like I said, like I gave respect to Dwayne Wade for what he did for our city. Mm -hmm. To be honest, in reality, Trina really made the way for female artists and she made the way for the ones in Miami. So that's why I decided to go to her. Because okay. if anybody's going to hold a crown, she's the only one been holding a crown. Right. So if I'm going to come in, I'm going to come in with the queen and we're going to go from there, you know? Yeah. So what was that conversation like? Did you say, um, can you please get on the record? Like, what did you tell her? We actually had a meeting. I told her how I felt about her and how I gave her her respects and her props for holding it down as the queen. And she respected it. And from there, she had a very positive energy, very lightly attitude. She was real blossom about it. And she agreed to be like, okay, let's do this. She seen my team, Dot Boys, and how we was for real about it. So from there, she was ready and ready to down to do the video, the recording, and we just took off. That's cool. And then the y'all started that I think that she was attracted by the motivation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She can so, feel your drive, I'm sure. Right. Because y'all mesh really well, especially in the video. The video was nicely done. Okay. Real professional, Thanks, cute boy. wife. Yes. <laughs> it fits. So that's good. And then y'all started a challenge. So not only are you trying to make bread for yourself, but you're trying to give a little bread out. So right. why did you start this challenge? Just to help the people challenge. going to coronavirus and to mm -hmm. make something exciting so people can follow directions and stay in like the government says so right. we can be over this soon, you know? Right, right. That's very yeah. important. So how's the challenge going and what do people have to do for it? Um, just come up with a dance. Okay. That's all. Just come up with a dance that everybody can do that ain't too complicated. We ain't trying to break our legs or nothing. <laughs> and, um... Once they come up with a dance and everybody approve of, we're going to give them that thousand dollars and they'll have a chance to be in a part two project that we're putting together right now. That's with cool. That's what's up. So what else can you see yourself getting into? I know you, you know, you got this single that's come out. It's pop, I mean, it's out, it's popping and yes. looking good and it has a lot of buzz on it, but what else can you see you kind of putting your hand into or that you're interested in? Um, you know, I would like to do a foundation too, as far as community, um, the coronavirus as well. And, you know, I want to start a clothing line and I just want to do like, I want to sell out with concerts, getting young people to come, getting middle aged people to come. I want to make music where everybody could dance to that is clean and music that makes people feel good. You know, age is no range from young mm -hmm. to older. You understand what I'm saying? Just making people feel good about life and feeling good about listening to music. That's good. So what do you have coming up in the future? Okay, I have a few projects coming up with my album. I want to do a, um, a, um, is it called an EP? I want to do mm -hmm. an EP album. And also I want to come out with another dance challenge. You know, I want to, I like to dance. So I want to get everybody into the moving, you know, it's a little healthy, a little energy, work out a right. little bit. <laughs> what wait, wait wait what kind of dancing do you like to do you like pop it lock it drop it you twerk it what you doing um not too much <laughs> pop it like a pop because i know people probably can't even much get low, that low <laughs> but a, you know we're gonna miss the electric slide with it you know what <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> An old classic right old classic bring it back you right for the sisters and the brothers right that right there so yeah you know, I just want people to be happy and enjoy life. And I want people to feel good when they hear my music. That's what's up. Well, we have a little something that we do here in two while we have um, finish the sentence and we okay. have either or. So okay. we're going to start off with finish the sentence. Okay. okay. So I'm going to read some sentences and you're going to finish them. Okay. All right. So people assume blank about me. The worst. The worst. Why you say the words? Um, cause they don't know. People like to go off your expressions. People like to go off of what they see, but it's not always. You can't go off what you see. Talk to the person. It's all about what's inside. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can't right. never go right. off of how a person look, or you never know. Like, what are they going through? But that doesn't mean that they're not a nice person, or they're not a sweet person, or they're not friendly. Right. So, you know, I live in Miami and yeah. you know it's cutthroat. Yeah. Like judge people on how they look, how they dress, mm -hmm. how they act. And sometimes, most of the times, you can't go by that. Right. 
I got that. I feel that. Okay, next one. I prefer blank over blank. Okay, I would say that. <laughs> I want to say it, but I don't want to say it. But say it. It's open. You can say whatever you want. I prefer money over fame. Okay. I want to be able to go shopping and not be bothered. That, that's <laughs> right. And either way I go, I'm going to be happy regardless. Right, right. Okay, um, a bop I'm listening to right now is Blank. You and it can't I'll... be your own music, even okay. though D-Wade is a bop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a bop that I'm listening to right now is a bop. Hmm. Okay. So I'll say... Oh, that's the hard one. A bop right now. You said a bop right now I'm mm -hmm. listening to is a bop. So I would say <laughs> Okay, so I would say Tory Lanez that I'm listening to right now is a is a bop. Okay. So just all of Tory Lanez. Yes, I love Tory Lanez. I love his music. <laughs> I love his attitude. I love his active energy on social media. And it doesn't hurt that he's cute. No, it don't hurt. <laughs> he is. He handsome. <laughs> I'm going to give him that. <laughs> all right. The last okay. text I received said blank. The last text that I received said I need to get my butt here ASAP. ASAP. So That's started. what it said. <laughs> okay, last and one. I'll finish the sentence. I will never let blank. Hmm? Oh, I will no. never let blank happen to me again. I will never let rock bottom happen to me again. Rock bottom. So where were you at rock bottom? Before I got where I'm at now. What did that look like? Struggle. No one has your back. Not believing. Not having faith. Wow. Yes. All right. So we're going to move to either or on that note. That was good. Okay. So okay. either or you have to choose quickly. One okay. of the other. Okay. 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 So the first one was boys or girls? Boys. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue or lips? Mm. <laughs> lips. Lips. Okay. Armpit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> armpit or kneecap? Oh, which one you which one you gonna keep? Armpit or kneecap? I need my kneecaps. So you just gonna be out there with one armpit? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna see it anyway because my arms always out. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep my kneecaps because I need them. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna help me stand tall. For yeah, there you go. Time. Exactly. Okay, DMs or FaceTime? <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the DMs because I gotta make sure I'm a, I'm looking beautified at all times. I don't need you FaceTime me. I gotta get my lashes. <laughs> I gotta get my lip gloss. Have my lips wet. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so I'm gonna go with the DMs. Okay. DMs. Okay. All right. Last one. Okay. Lingerie or naked? <clears throat> I mean, I could be naked. I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sex says AF, right? Right. <laughs> so I'll go with the naked. Who had the day?